My name is Dr. Amrish Pandey. I'm a cardiologist in Dallas, Texas, and one of the investigators on the Humane HFPEF trial. This was the phase 2B randomized control trial that evaluated the effects of a novel controlled metabolic accelerator, HU6, for treatment of obesity-related heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. HU6 is a mitochondrial uncoupling agent, also called as controlled metabolic accelerators, that can promote weight loss by increasing mitochondrial energy utilization, resulting in a preferential loss of adipose tissue while sparing skeletal muscle tissue. HU6 is one of the first in class controlled metabolic accelerators. It is metabolized in the liver to produce a controlled metabolite 2,4-dinitrophenol, which is an activator of the adenine nucleotide translocase channel, causing controlled mit mitochondrial uncoupling. So this was a phase 2A randomized parallel group placebo-controlled double-blind uh, dose escalation trial. It tested three oral doses of HU6 at 150 mg, 300 mg, and 450 milligrams across 14 centers. The patients who were included in the study were uh, patients with chronic stable HFPEF and obesity with a BMI more than 30. They had a normal LV ejection fraction of more than 50% and a established diagnosis of chronic HFPEF uh, that was determined using standard clinical criteria. The study uh, had a treatment duration of over 19 weeks and the key outcomes of interest were loss in body weight, improvements in exercise capacity, and then some of the other exploratory secondary endpoints included changes in body composition, changes in quality of life, and six foot walk distance. We observed some really important findings in this study. First, we observed that HU6 was associated with significant decrease in weight uh, among participants with obesity related HFPEF with a treatment effect of over 2.9 kilograms weight loss. We also observed favorable changes in the body composition with uh, significant reductions in the total fat mass percentage with a uh, visceral fat component and preservation of the skeletal muscle mass with no change in the lean body mass. We did not see a significant change in the key secondary endpoint of peak exercise capacity or other exploratory endpoints of uh, quality of life and six minute walk distance and cardiac biomarkers. Our study findings have important implications regarding development of novel therapies for patients with obesity-related HFPEF. As we know, obesity is the primary factor that contributes to development and progression of HFPEF and leads to manifestations of exercise intolerance and physical dysfunction. There has been a lot of interest in developing therapies that specifically target weight loss in patients with obesity-related HFPEF. And the recent Hef STEP HFPEF trial has confirmed the potential large benefits of weight loss strategies for management of these patients, but several challenges remain with use of GLP-1 agonists for management of FPEF. These include the long-term consequences of significant amount of muscle mass loss, which can be particularly uh, challenging in patients who are older and frail and have sarcopenia. And the results from the phase two trial uh, that we conducted demonstrating the safety, tolerability, and efficacy of HU6 in promoting preferential loss of fat mass while preserving lean mass could be potentially uh, impactful for management of these older frail patients with sarcopenic obesity, and it has the promise to be the potential novel second-generation weight loss pharmacotherapy for obesity-related HFPEF patients. Based on the findings of our uh, phase two study, I think there is a need for a future larger, adequately powered, longer-term phase three randomized controlled trial to evaluate the efficacy of HU6 in improving functional and clinical outcomes of patients with obesity-related HFPEF.